We're good. So good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming here live at Dice Tower, Dice Tower Con at sunny Orlando, Florida. So happy to be here. And who are we? I'm Matt. This is Aaron over here, and we have our special guest for the morning, James Hudson from Druid City Games. Say hi, yes. James. Hey, everybody. So, James, you're going to be showing off Barnyard Roundup for us today, correct? That's right. That's so right. you want to give us a brief run-through on just the uh, the highlights of the game, and then we'll get into the rules. Sure, sure. So the fun. When my son was four, we played a lot of Candyland and uh, Shoots and Ladders, and so I couldn't stand it anymore, and so I had to make another game. And uh, those games have their places, but I couldn't do the same two games anymore. Mm -hmm. And since he was four, he needed something that he, you know, he didn't have to do any reading. Right. And so I wanted a mechanic that we could play over and over and that I wouldn't get tired of, and so we came up with bluffing. So in the game, you're going to be trying to collect the most animals in your tableau, and at the end of the game, whoever has the most of each animal will get a five-point bonus, and then whoever can also get a set bonus uh, for each animal you get ten points. And you can earn multiple set bonuses. So what ends up happening as players get cards down in their tableau, it comes, comes a little bit of a uh, Princess and Bride, Poison and the Cup, you know, if, uh, I can be like, hey, there is that goat you need. And you're like, Why would, you wouldn't give me what I need. And then I, I, or you'll say, are you thinking that I'm thinking you wouldn't give me what I need? And so then you the find out. Oh, not only was it not what you needed, it was a crow. And so there are the five animals that have a point value of one to five. And then there's also these pesky crows that can do damage. Eat your crops. So on your turn, you can t you have six cards in your hand. And you can take anything that matches. So this is not like Sheriff of Nottingham where you can mix things up and present them to people. Like that's two goats or that's two chickens. Right. Everything has to match. So you have to say, that's two cows or that's two chickens. Okay. So let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. That is two pigs. No. Now you have to decide. I believe you. I believe that's two pigs. Or I do not believe you. I do not believe that's two you're, pigs. You're a stand-up guy, James. I'm going to believe you this time. Let's see what it is. It was not. Oh, it was goats. not two goats. And so, I'm sorry. And now, I will score those. Okay. Now, had those been two pigs and I was telling you the truth, and you got me, then you would have kept them. So whoever's right in the exchange gets to keep the cards. Okay. Now, the only thing that's a little different is the crow. The crow has to be bluffed. You can't say, that's a crow. Now, you can, you can game the game. You can metagame it and go, that's a crow. Oh, I meant, that is a goat. So you can, it, at first, it looks like a real family game. Uh, and then you find out really quick that it, it still is a family <laughs> game. But there's a lot of metagame going on and how you bluff people and why. And so uh, you run, you go into the cards or run, run out, and you never really know exactly when the game's going to end. Because you draw back up to your hand limit based off of whatever you bluff. So it's never just one. It's always, if I bluff you four cards, and I'm going to draw out four. Then I'm going to take, okay, so you're always taking a different amount. So that's if, right. if, if everybody does a bunch of cards towards the end, it can go really it can go fast. Fast. That's right. And if you have crows left over in your hand when the game ends, they, you have to score them. So you're motivated to get the crows out of your hand. You can't just like hold on to them and not risk sending those out. Gotcha. Now, the only other thing we have is some action tokens. At the beginning of the game, we're going to flip all these over, and we'll draw one. Now, the Scarecrow special, I'll explain in a second. So with the robber... Let me show that off in the sure, can Sure, robber, here. excuse me. So the robber, you can it's kind of like a go fish. I can say, all right, give me all of your five-point cows out of your hand. And if you have any, I get them and I score them immediately in the tableau. So you have to do that, like the number and the animal? No, you, 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 no, no, you just say, give me all your... Cows. cows. Give me all your goats. Okay. And if you have them, I get them and, they, and I score them immediately. And I still get to do my regular turn. Oh, okay. But if I, if you don't have what I asked for, mm -hmm. and you have crows, I get those instead. Oh. Yeah. So it's a little, you know, Robin's risky. Robin's risky. Uh, the excuse me. So maybe if somebody won't pass you those goats you need because they don't want to give you that set bonus, and I'm like, hey, here's two goats. You can be like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me. And interrupt the bluff if you have the excuse me token. So you can pick somebody else. So if you and Matt are playing, and I play. I can play. Excuse me, and say no. Yep. No, 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 no. I want those. You can. You can butt in. That's right. And then the special uh, scarecrow action. Can you show them off? Absolutely. The scarecrow. Uh, he gets mixed in after. And if you're lucky enough to, uh, when you get three crows, if you're unlucky enough to get three crows, every time you get three crows, you get to draw a new token. So it's a little bit of a catch-up mechanic, especially okay. when the kids are playing and they get a bunch of crows dumped on them. There might be some whining and some upsetness. But Understandable. You get to draw a new token. If you're lucky enough to draw the scarecrow, 
he scares away the last three crows and they flutter their way into everybody else's pin. But it's really rare because there's only one of that token in the whole game. Okay. And that's the game. So we're ready to go. And so these tokens are one-time use. We pick them up only when we have three crows. What was that one? That's right. That's exactly right. Okay. So we're going to mix these up and we're going to start with one and then you only get another one if... Uh, oh, that, wait. We mixed them in. No. I'm doing it wrong for the own game. Uh, Josh, okay. can you look at the hand cam? All right. So you guys go ahead and draw you one up. And there's 15 of each animal. Okay. And so at the beginning of the game, we discard eight cards so that there's no card counting. And we take the scarecrow, mix it in, and we're ready to go. Okay. So who goes first? Is there a first player mechanic? In the, this? the last person who visited a farm. You know, I don't remember the last time I visited a farm. <laughs> How about you, Aaron? Two years ago in New York, we went to a pumpkin farm. We'll take it. Visited. Okay. We'll take it. So it's on you. So now I'm passing you cards. You can you can pick anybody you want. Okay. Because. The part about the tableau is what's going to help you determine how you want to stage your bluff. Right. And so you need the freedom to be able to use, go to anybody at the table based off what they have in front of them. So in the beginning, it's pretty open, but... In the uh, beginning, it's open, but it gets... It, this is one chicken, James. I believe you. You seem so honest. All right, so I got me a chicken. Clockwise to you. <sighs> Two goats. Aaron. I think you're full of cow something. I don't think they're goats. <laughs> I mean, you can check. All right, flip them over and find out. Take the oh, goats. Oh, they were two goats. So, there you go. All right. Well, that seems... I'm going to get on this train, too. Aaron. There's two more goats. Ooh. And we draw up immediately, right? Yes, okay. we draw back up to six. Oh. But, yeah, there's two more goats. Since you do didn't I think, Do I think you have two goats, too? I, I mean... Here. That you both have two goats. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're goat farmers. Just simple yeah. layman goat farmers. Then they're goats. Okay. I was honest with you. Hopefully you're honest with me. Yeah. All right. So much honesty. So far. <laughs> I don't know. I gave James some chickens already. Here, Matt, here's two chickens. I, I, don't, I don't trust you on that one. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there were some kind of birds. <laughs> oh, I sent some foul play there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're getting in early with the bad times. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> I ain't had coffee yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got a cow for you, James. I would love a cow, sir. It's not a cow. I had to. I'm sorry. That's, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'd like to return the favor with two sheep. Those little bah, bah. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I believe you here. Oh, nice. Got some Just because sheep, I made the game goats. doesn't mean I'm any good at it. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm hovering at a minus four. Well, it's better than minus eight. So far. <laughs> it's like golf, right? It is. Not really, <laughs> no. Two sheep, please. Oh, uh, yes, these are two sheep. Well, at least you nullified your crows. <laughs> you know, positive points. Hooray! I'm feeling bad for you, James. How about the three little pigs? See, I just want to say yes to everything. So yes. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. At least I don't have to see you huff and puff. Uh, I, all I have now is one moo cow. Move. I, I don't. I don't trust you on that one. You can. You can keep your cow. Thank you. Oh. I see that you like sheep, Matt. So I'm going to give you two sheep. Train coming. I mean, just a lonely little sheep farmer. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take it. Very nice. Got a big, nice lead on the sheep bonus going for you now. Let's spread the sheep love though with two sheep for Aaron. Hopefully you're being honest with me, just like I was honest with you. 
You were. I tried. I tried. He was really taking a, trying to take a big lead in the sheep. It'd be hard yeah. to come back with a six a six sheep lead here. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I have three goats, sir. Three. 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 Yeah. I've been saving up on those goats and such. I drew a token. All right. Where's the first one? I like goats. Oh, they are goats. Thank you, James. Ah, you weren't supposed to say yes. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was the <laughs> game. Well, here, we'll give you the lead in something since you gave me the lead in something else. Here's two chickens. I do not believe that these are chickens. Oh, shoot. Curses! All right, see, so now all you need is pigs, and you'll start collecting set bonuses. So, so every time I get one of these, yeah, you can get multiple set bonuses. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of pointage. So, so I'm gonna be mean here, James. Six. All right, I want your chickens. Oh, you lucky, lucky man! I have one chicken. Okay. Score that immediately. Nice. And I still get my normal turn, right? Yeah, you still get your normal turn. Okay. And even if you're stole from, you also draw back up immediately too. So okay. again, that can also hasten the end of the game. Let's give you some moo cows, James. I do not believe that these are cows. Gosh. Until the cows come home. I'm going to start throwing corn. I'm going to table flip at 9.45. Okay. Start the day off right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. You need those pigs right there. Right there for your set bonuses. Two pigs. It seems awfully nice of you. It's super nice. I'm going to believe you, though, because I think that you would put the pigs down thinking that I would say no so, so that you could get up to five pigs. Because I think that would be a pretty, pretty I mean, good play. that's a thing. That is a play. That is a, that is a thing. Let's find out. Those are not <laughs> pigs at all. <laughs> now, so you just you just triggered three crows. So now you get to reach in. Is this, was this yours from earlier? Yeah, it was. So th those all go back into the pot. Okay. And now you get to draw. And if you get the scarecrow, go ahead and reveal it. All right, cool. Not a All right, so you just hold on to those four. And now, if you get to six, you also get to keep drawing. So every time you flip three crows, okay. if you're that lucky. Now, does, now <laughs> when, it scares away the last three crows. Yeah, the last okay. three. So you can so never if get I get to six, I can't get rid of all. And they go, they go evenly. So I would get one, he would get one, and the one would just go to this one. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Is it my turn? Uh, or no, no, I think it's your James turn. just gave me some yeah. crows. So it's your turn. Always reaching for the token. Matt? Yeah. I want your pigs. Enjoy. And you got your sip. It's very nice. So then I take one of these? Yeah, sure. So that and you still get your turn. My crows. For now. Typically, I see crows flock together. They seem to kind of attract to the, whoever <laughs> starts to get the same person. Yeah. It starts to become a goal of everyone else. Funny how that works. Yeah. Matthew? Yes. Here is one pig. Oh, set bonus I think, time. I think he's going for multiple set bonuses. So oh, I'm gonna, that would be good. I'm going to take that pig. Oh, very pig. nice. Very nice. How about uh, a chicken for you, James? Is it a Not chicken, a chicken. Oh. Not Ow. a chicken. Hey, join the crow club. Oh, I good. tried. All right. All right. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be big. This is gonna be huge. Let's see, this could be this could this could win the game. For some uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's four cows. Four cows. Twenty points. That's and a, lot of points. a massive lead in cow in cow land. That could get rid of all your crows essentially. There's so many crows out there. I don't know if they could all be crows. I suppose it could be something else, though. They don't have to be crows. It's true. That is very true. But those are four cows. Or are they? I don't remember. Uh, it's, been, it's been like 10 seconds. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't win it, you don't play. I'm going to say they are crows. Oh! oh they are not crows. Oh, you got all the pigs. That James. is a lot of oink oink. You got some bacon. That's a lot of bacon. In a massive lead in the in the in the pig land. Aaron. And here's a goat. 
Yeah, that's a goat. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta wish it to be exactly what you think it is. All right, now I need some sheep. I, you do need some sheep. Uh huh. Yep. About four of them. Oh, yeah, those are sheep. Ah! That's a whole lot of chickens. That's, that's a lot of chickens. That's a big lead in chicken land too. So you know, people are like, oh, that's only one point chickens, but now it's also an extra five points if you win. So exactly. All right. So I need to do some stuff here. I need a sheep. So. Just one, oh, just one, you're fine. I was going to go ahead and get him ready. Just one little sheep. Join my party. Get my little set bonus here. I, I'll, I'll take a sheep. I'll take a sheep. Not helpful. You going to help out James give him some sheep? I don't have any sheep to give James. Oh, honesty. Uh, uh, on, or... Or underhandedness. Or, or meta, a meta. We like to call that meta game. Oh, yeah. We're stand up folks here. Sure. Most of the time. <laughs> but James loves chickens, so I'll give him a chicken. I do love a good chicken. There you go. Okay. Let me let me try this. James, how about two sheep? I mean it this time. That's not. I tried. I tried. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go away from sheep and go back to cows because it's cows are working. So that's a cow. It is a cow. It was a cow. That was nice of you. You're welcome. I'm return it here. There's two cows. Those are not two cows. Oh no! So we determined that James cannot <laughs> suss out the truth or a bluff. Aaron, I haven't made a deal with you in a while. How about a chicken for you? Ah, excuse me. No, no. I do believe that is a chicken. Son of a... <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. That's great. That's just perfect. Yeah, let me, you know, let me, let me just jump right back in with... Uh, you know, those are two crow chickens. Crow chickens? Crochunkins. Cr okay. Huh. That's, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I just misspoke. They're definitely chickens. Definitely chickens. Okay. Oh, they're not chickens. No, they were crows. <laughs> Those were crows. But you get a card now, Matt. Yeah. yeah I get so one of those. Rather, excuse me. And if it's the scarecrow? It's not the scarecrow. All right. So, so you, got, you got some more ammunition for strategery. So that, that, was uh, James, that was James bluffing. Yep. You're up. Who needs I'm still... Sheepless. Sheepless in Seattle? She <laughs> sheepless as a man can be. <laughs> Wait, did you just do a movie pun and I did a Garth Brooks pun? Yes. We, we have to leave now. <laughs> we have to leave now. Bye, everyone. So there is one sheep for you then. Yeah. Oink, oink. I really believed you that time. How about a cow for the cow farmer? Oh, it's definitely a cow. Told you. Getting low on cards. He knows his cows. Oh, okay, my turn. Last ditch effort. Two sheep. I mean, they, that's a lot they, of sheep. Oh, there is a lot of sheep. Mm. Maybe I should have bluffed something else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It seems a little heavy-handed, James. I'm gonna think that those are sheep. Do I trust you? Oh, cows. Could have used some cows too. Farmer Aaron. Matthew, those are two pigs. I need some pigs. Okay, I'll take it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh, this got rough. It gets rough quickly. How about three pigs for Aaron? I think they're pigs. Not pigs. Oh. Not pigs. Very nice. Oh, but he tied you. And by the way, if, if, you, if there's a tie for the lead, nobody gets the points. Oh, okay. Oh, so, oh, that's super. <laughs> so, you know what? Since I can't ever seem to do anything about the sheep, I'm just going to stick with what I know, which is bacon to bacon. Excuse me. Uh, yeah? So you would like to you would like this bacon? I'd, I'd like to eat some bacon. 
Oh, no. no. Yes. No. Sit me in the sand. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Sorry, not sorry, as the kids say. And I drew the last card. That's in the game. So now, if you have any crows left in your hand, they come down into your pen. I drew two what right at the very end. Six? Do I get to pick a token? You do, in turn order, you get to draw and see if you. The only thing that's going to matter is you get, get the scarecrow. So okay. go ahead and draw and see if you get a scarecrow. Nope. Not a scarecrow. All right, you did two, so you can do it. I was supposed to mix this one back oh. in. Ah, all right. All right, so now. You, we add up, we give out the uh, bonuses. Okay. Uh, you, you smoked us with the chickens. Uh, you guys tied, so nobody gets no that. No goats. I'm the sheep. Uh, you crushed us the sheep. You got um, I get, I get to be the pig farmer. Moo cows, and then any set bonuses. I had one. I have one. And you had one. All right. So now just add up the points in front of you. Aaron, did you not get a set bonus? I have two. It's two. Oh, two? Oh, okay. Yeah, two. So now add up what you got in front of you. And that's the game. Okay. Twenty-five. I got 25. 54. Oh. This is the first time I've ever won my own game. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Well, congratulations. I play this a lot with my 8-year-old, and the kids, when they play, they, I'm talking, it's, it's something like being able to fib to mom and dad, you know, yeah. that they're being allowed to do that. It's fun. But when he puts crows on me, he cackles. He cackles. <laughs> un uncontrollable. So, I don't know, I don't really know what that means. As far as like what I should be worried, but yeah, you can feel the love. I, That's I think the important it's good that thing. you're picking up his tells at that age. That <laughs> so by the time that you're that you're really worried about what yeah. they're telling stories yeah. about, you already know what's yeah, going I'm on. Yeah, I'm on your tail, boy. <laughs> it really it really does teach critical critical thinking when you're trying to figure out how do I bluff or present a truth to someone based off what they have in front of them. It's exactly. not just like I'm on just random. I mean, you can do it that way too, but there's a lot of meta game in picking what you want to pick. Right. And then, giving your friends all the crows. All the crows. All the crows. I could have had my own farm of crows, but you know. It's a murder of crow, actually. It is a murder of crows, and I got you murdered did by have, it. You did have the murder of crow. Yeah. So. Well, thank you so much, James. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you coming on. Thanks it was for a pleasure. Me. Thanks for having me, guys. It was a lot of awesome. Yeah. And so that was Barnyard Roundup. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. See you uh, next time. See you for the next show. Go to Dice Tower. It's good. This is in all your uh, friendly local game stores, right? Yes, it's out in retail, so friendly local game stores, almost the online retailers as well, so okay. pick cool. it up. Fantastic. Awesome.